wanted to show you, unfortunately, my co-author could not be here, but I wanted you to, to meet him at least in a picture. <laughs> co-author. And as a means of an executive summary, I thought I'd put up the abstract that is in the paper. And we did something. We followed a very basic marketing principle. It's called the KISS principle. Keep it short and simple. And that's what we did for our uh, research. And Beverly described perfectly what we did. We're interested in the hotel industry, and we compared U.S. only hotels to U.S. owned or U.S. based international hotel chains. And of course, all of us are familiar with the hotel industry, which is a major industry. This, as I said, the KISS principle we follow. So this research is a first step type of a research. It's a qualitative, exploratory research. We wanted to get a feeling for what is the look of sustainability marketing in the hotel industry. And so we wanted to make it so simple that it could be replicated, hopefully, by people from other countries. That's what we were hoping uh, might happen. So if we take a look at the hotel industry, of course, it's a huge industry, over half a trillion dollars, according to IBS. IBIS World, and that was uh, the December 2013 report. Obviously, it has a huge environmental impact. And the hotel industry has a lot to do with sustainability. There are many awards and uh, certifications. The GHH is the Green Hotel Association, and they do not believe in paying for awards. But it's, a, it's an organization of hotels that are interested in being environmentally responsible. They get together. And according to the GHA, there are over 800 different types of awards and certifications in the hotel industry. Now, Travelocity, many of you may know, if you use Travelocity to uh, book hotels. Yeah. Uh, Travelocity is owned by Sabre Holdings, and Sabre Holdings has come up with a green flag that they put on their hotel. So if you look at the Travelocity site, you will see some of the hotels are green flagged. This means that the hotel has one of maybe a dozen uh, sustainability awards uh, that are modeled after the um, the Global Sustainability Tourism Council. So there's a similar type of awards to that council. Amazingly, when my partner and I started researching the hotel industry, we found relatively scarce research into sustainability marketing in the hotel industry, which we thought was surprising. In fact, uh, there was a 2011 study that of the four major hospitality journals, less than 2% over 10 years, less than 2% of the articles were about, uh, no, I think it was a little bit more than, I think it was 2.5% of the articles were about sustainability marketing, which is very, very surprising. Of course, there's reams and reams of information about water use and waste and the impact that the hotel industry has on society. But in terms of the marketing of sustainability, that research has been relatively scarce. Now there's one notable exception. Cornell University has a hotel major. And they did a study uh, just last year, in 2013, Looking at the Travelocity hotels, there's um, 9,000 Travelocity hotels, and I think 3,000 of them have that green flag on them, and 6,000 do not have the green flag. And what the Cornell study was trying to do is see if that green flag put right on the Travelocity website for each hotel, if that made a difference to either increase or decrease the revenue for the hotel. And what they found is that it's revenue neutral. 
that the green flag had no impact on whether the hotel would be chosen or not chosen in terms of total numbers. Now, one more interesting study, not about the hotel industry itself, but the travel industry. In terms of the travel industry, there was a 2009 study by Wien, and uh, questioning people, does sustainability have any impact on your travel plans? Are you concerned about your impact on sustainability when you travel? And 44% of American consumers said that they were. So we could look at it as half full or <laughs> half empty. 60% not concerned, <laughs> almost 60% not concerned. So, and that was in 2009. But the conclusion now is I think that the American consumer is becoming, it's a mainstream, is becoming more concerned about the sustainability. Now, in terms of marketing definitions of sustainability, as Naz had said, sustainability marketing is known as green marketing. And the Barron's marketing dictionary definition is a short one saying promotion of environmentally safe or beneficial products. The American Marketing Association has three definitions, and of course you can read them in the paper. And what's important about the American Marketing Association, it's the largest professional organization of marketing professionals. I think there's over 60,000 marketing professionals. And they give a retailing definition, a social marketing definition, and an environment definition. And I also looked up, because I wanted, as I said, I felt like, I'm, when I came to the conference, I felt I'm with the United Nations. And I said, let me look up what the uh, United Nations World Tourism Organization defines as uh, sustainability, and they define sustainable tourism that it reflects a quadruple bottom line of environmental, social, economic, and climate responsiveness. Now again, our research study following that KISS principle is very, very simple. What we did is we looked at the website and we said, okay, let's look for three things in the website that would indicate and be a surrogate for other marketing activities in sustainability. So we said, well, does the website say anything about sustainability? Number two, do they mention any awards in sustainability? And number three, are any future sustainability plans discussed? And so we thought these three things, if they had anything about sustainability, we wanted to know that they were promoting sustainability in some way. What we did is we took convenience samples. As Beverly said, we compared the U.S.-based international hotel chains to U.S. Ireland. So for the U.S.-based international hotel chains, we looked at a website called MKG Hospitality. And in that website, they identified the top 15 brands of hotels based on the number of hotel rooms. Of those top 15 brands, 11 of them were US-owned brands. But of those 11, of course, for consolidation and mergers, etc., it came down to six the top six uh, US-owned international hotel chains. And if you noticed, I capitalized the Starwood because this hotel is a Starwood hotel. It's a Starwood brand. For the US-only brands, we said, let's uh, break them up into luxury and non-luxury hotels based on customer expectations and experiences. If you go in a Marriott hotel, you have a certain expectation. But for the US only brands that are not, you know, big, big chains, we figured, oh, let's break it up in terms of luxury and non-luxury. And again, a convenience sample based on hotels we were familiar with and those in the East Coast and the West Coast. And so my co-author partner found these pretty pictures for you of the five luxury hotels. So 
some of them are famous, and these are the non-luxury hotels. Okay, so what did we find? We found one thing that we expected to find. 100% every one of the U.S. Well, it's quite the beat for five minutes. <laughs> every one of the U.S.-based uh, international hotel chains had the sustainability measures, but only 30% of the uh, U.S.-only hotels did, and this uh, graph summarizes the results in terms of the three groups. Again, the first group is the international chains, the second is the luxury, and the third is the non-luxury. We have a very small sample, so it would be very interesting to us to see what it would be if it was a larger sample. So we wanted to just leave you with a few comments. One very important comment is this. Sustainability statements by the hotels might not be accurately reflecting what they really are doing. It could be better or it could be worse. Hopefully it's better. Hopefully. And this study is a very quick snapshot. It's like taking a picture at a moment in time. We looked at these websites in December of 2013 and January of 2014. Websites change daily. So we took a picture to see what it looked like. And our real hope is that we will spur more voluminous research on what we consider a very important <laughs> and impactful industry. And so we'd like to know if a big, sustain, a, a big statistical sample would verify or refute our study results. And our main interest is, does the country of ownership or regions in the world, is there a difference? Are <clears throat> in different countries, I am guessing that in Europe there's more of, but I could be wrong, more of a um, statement of the importance of sustainability. And the very most important thing leads to what Naz was just discussing, her very important work, the consumer perceptions and attitudes about sustainability and marketing, the sustainability marketing. That would be the most uh, interesting thing. And so thank you very much. So please remember, if we all help and do a little bit, it will make a big difference.